man, do you ever feel like life just punches you in the face? Like your your whole habits, your your normal, right? Your your environment or your your normal routine that you have built just gets all thrown out of whack. Man, that happened to me the last few weeks. We sold our house, we moved moved states, we're back in Alabama, and uh, man, I gotta gotta get the office set up and the computers and the room and gosh, and now we're you know Ukraine and Russia and just all this craziness, right? That life just throws at us, and it uh, it really made me think of some things I've learned over lots of years of really running for a dream, and uh, wanted to share those with you guys of how important it is to have these three things really and uh, number one of those is uh, it's important to keep your dreams bigger than your obstacles which means first off you got to have a dream right you got to have a dream something you're chasing something you're running for you know that North Star right and that's your motivation right? that's where where your motivation can kind of come from because you're chasing that dream and and habits too. that that routine those habits you build that's really what what keeps you going, right? Your your dreams, your motivation, your habits are what keeps you going, and it's so important to keep your dreams bigger than your obstacles because, man, the journey is not going to be easy. You're going to get punched in the face so many times. Life's going to knock you down, and uh, man, if you don't keep that dream big, you will get knocked down, and you 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 give up. Honestly, if your if your dream isn't bigger than your obstacles, you're going to give up. That's why you gotta keep feeding the dream. See, success isn't if you're gonna get knocked down. It's not even how many times you're gonna get knocked down. Success is really how many times are you gonna get back up? Are are you willing to go through the knocks of life and the knocks of chasing that dream? Because see, every dream has a price that you're gonna have to pay. And it ain't easy, which is why you're gonna have to have the second thing which is an unbelievable work ethic. You're gonna have to be willing to suffer through a lot of stuff. You're get, it's paying the price, right? Some people call it pay, paying the price. Are you are you willing to pay the price? See, a lot of people look at people and they're like, man, I, I wish I had what they got. I, I wish I had that right there, that house or that car or whatever. And really what they should be asking is, man, what price did he pay to get that? And am I willing to do what he did? Am I willing to pay that price? Because no one's seen the, you know, the 10 hours at work and then, you know, you get home at 10 p.m., you stay up another four or five hours, you know, running and grinding and making it happen, right? No one sees all the, all the behind the scenes of someone really making that dream happen. So it's, it's gonna take an unbelievable work ethic and you're gonna have to be willing to pay the price. And keep your dreams bigger than your obstacles. Those are, those are the first two. And the third one, I, I don't even know how you could be willing to face the obstacles and, and face all the trials of chasing the dream without faith. Without God, you know, without the community at church, without getting that refresh, that refreshed view and perspective every single week and just... Man, knowing that overall you're in good hands, you're going to be taken care of. And no matter what happens, you know, you're going to have an awesome eternity uh, with the good Lord above. And man, without, without those three things, sometimes it can feel gloom and doom. And, and, you know, what's going to happen, you know, in this crazy world we live in. But just wanted to bring those to you guys today and remember that, man, Life can punch you in the face. And uh, over the last few weeks, I've definitely kind of felt that way. Um, you know, just not having that motivation to want to, you know, get back in the grind and get the office fixed up and get the videos pumping. And uh, man, just got to remember that, you know, we might have some dreams already, but there's there's bigger, bigger things out there that we want, right? You know, maybe it's making a certain amount of money or, you know, getting a, Get, hitting a specific goal that you have in your life or, or your career and uh, yeah for me it's get, I think those are three things that you're going to need so don't forget to feed your dream daily 
Don't, they, the only way to keep your dream bigger than your obstacles is you gotta stay focused on the dream. You gotta look at the dream more than you're looking at the obstacles. And, uh, and that's how you get there. That's how you get there. You gotta know the, the struggle's coming. You gotta, you gotta know that, hey, this is where I'm looking. And uh, that, that's gonna get you through it. That's gonna make you wanna get up or stay up late or, or push through those things. And uh, with God, all things are possible. And at the end of the day, whether we achieve those dreams or not, we know that uh, God can work all things, all things for the good, uh, for those who love Him. And uh, we got an eternity uh, that we get to spend with Him at the end of the day. So, love you guys. Hope you guys enjoy a little bit of a different spin, but uh, it's just how I was feeling the, the, the words on my heart uh, before I start pumping, pumping these videos back out for you guys. Just wanted to bring this to you. So, love you guys.